guys. So I'm here to film my November haul. Um, I have quite a few books to show you, so let's get right into the video. The first thing that I have on my pile here to show you is the entire An Ember in the Ashes series. I'm very excited for the fourth one to come out. I believe it's called The Sky Beyond the Storm, and it comes out December 1st. And I've already pre-ordered it, so look for that in my December haul. But I have the first three and the graphic novel to show you. So I have An Ember in the Ashes, which is book one. I have A Torch Against the Night, which is book two. I have A Reaper at the Gates, which is book three. And I have A Thief Among the Trees, which is uh, the prequel graphic novel. So this book is about a girl who is a slave and her brother gets arrested for treason. She has to go find him and help him escape in order to save his life. It's a YA fantasy and it's been out for a few years now, but like I said, the fourth one comes out at the beginning of next month. I also picked up all 10 books of the Disney Twisted Tales. So I'm going to show you each one of those. So the first book is Once Upon a Dream, and this is a Sleeping Beauty retelling. And it's What If Sleeping Beauty Never Woke Up? The next one is A Whole New World, which is an Aladdin retelling. This one is What If Aladdin Had Never Found the Lamp? The third one is As Old as Time, which is obviously a Beauty and the Beast retelling. And it's What If Belle's Mother Was the One Who Cursed the Beast? The next one I got was Reflection, which is a Mulan retelling. And this is What If Mulan Had to Travel to the Underworld? The next one is Mirror Mirror, which is a Snow White retelling. And it says, what if the evil queen poisoned the prince? It's part of your world, which is a Little Mermaid retelling. And it says, what if Ariel had never defeated Ursula? The next one is a Peter Pan retelling and it's straight on till morning. And it says, what if Wendy first traveled to Neverland with Captain Hook? The next one is a Frozen retelling and it is what if Anna and Elsa never knew each other? And it's called Conceal, Don't Feel. Okay, two more. This one is So This Is Love, which is obviously a Cinderella retelling, and it's What If Cinderella Never Tried On The Glass Slipper. And last but not least, the newest release is a Alice in Wonderland retelling, and it's called Unbirthday. What If Wonderland Was In Peril And Alice Was Very, Very Late. So also in my hauls, you're going to see my Book of the Month unboxings. So these are my three. I got This Time Next Year, which is about a couple who meet and they have the same birthday, but they have nothing else in common. Sounds really cute, so I picked it up. The next one is Things You Save in a Fire, which is about a firefighter woman who travels to um, her hometown, I believe, to take care of an alien parent or grandparent. And lastly, I got these Violent Delights, which I'm super excited about. It is a Romeo and Juliet retelling. It's the year 1926, so it's a Roaring Twenties Shanghai Romeo and Juliet retelling. Okay, I also picked up five Shakespeare books, and they're the No Fear Shakespeare. This edition has Shakespeare on one side and the original text, as well as everyday English on the other side. Makes it really easy to understand, and I got these for 75 cents or less each. So I got King Lear, which is a story about cruelty and greed versus consolation and support on the other hand. Then I also got The Merchant of Venice, Comedy and Love, and 16th Century Venice. Then I got Much Ado About Nothing, which is two classic tales on love. Next I got Macbeth, which is the story of a general who meets three witches and they predict his fate. Next, I got Hamlet, which is the story of the Prince of Denmark, who finds out that his father has been murdered. Next, I got Five Total Strangers, which is about a girl who goes on this trip with four strangers, and none of them know anything about each other, and they get stuck in a blizzard. I'm very excited about this one, and it is about a time-traveling cafe where if you sit in a certain seat, you can travel back in time. And you are allowed to travel in time as long as you get back before your coffee gets cold. It sounds so much fun. I've heard a lot of people rave about this, so I'm excited to read it. Next, I picked this up at Dollar Tree, and it was only a dollar, obviously. And it is Landline, and it is about a woman who's having marital issues, and she finds out that she can speak to her husband from the past and kind of correct things. All right, I think last but not least, for the physical books that are not manga or light novels, I have Gossip Girl, You Know You Love Me, which is the first book in the Gossip Girl series. I just started rewatching the show out of boredom and I absolutely love it. I don't know what's wrong with me, but it's really good. And um, it's just what I needed, I guess. But this is the first book. I thought I'd give it a try. And if you've seen my latest video, you know that I unwrapped this for my December TBR. So I will be reading it this December. So the first and only light novel that I picked up in the month of November was The Garden of Words, which I believe is by the same person that does Your Name and Weathering With You. And I'm very excited to see the anime, so I picked up the light novel and I'm going to be looking for the manga as well. So the tagline is, can a poem save your life? Words are powerful. This is about a boy who skips class and meets a girl who gives him a poem and he has to figure out its meaning and his response. I got some manga, so the first one I'm going to show you is Ghostly Things, which is about a girl who moves into a haunted house and all the ghostly things that go on. And I got volumes one and two, so this is the 
have two volumes of Miss Kozumai Loves Ramen Noodles. And this is about the ramen noodle culture of Japan. So it takes you through the different kinds of ramen, ways you can eat it. It's really cool. And it's also a story about a girl who likes a girl. So it's really cute. And I got the first two volumes. The third one comes out somewhere around March. Next, I got the first three volumes of Oran High School Post Club, which is about um, a girl who disguises herself as a boy to work in the host club at her school due to the fact that she broke a $8,000 or 8,000 yen vase at her school and has to repay the money. Your Name, Another Side, Volume 2. I already had Volume 1 and the first three volumes of Your Name. So this is the after story of the original story, which is about a boy and a girl who meet via uh, like Freaky Friday kind of situation where they transport into each other's bodies and have to live their lives as each other every other day or something like that. It's a really good story, really good anime. I got After the Rain, Volumes 1 and 2, but again, Volume 1 is over there on the shelf and wrapped, so I can't show it to you. So this is Volume 2, and it's about a girl who works at a local restaurant and falls in love with her manager, who is older. And I got Living Room, Volume 5, which is about a girl who lives on her own, and it learns how to do that as well as experience her first love. And I got Volumes 7 and 9, because they were all my store had, of Fruits Basket Collector's Edition. These are about a girl who moves in with a family and the family is cursed. Then I got volumes one through eight of The Melancholy of Haru Suzumaya. I think that's how you say that. So it's about a boy who meets a girl who teaches him how to dream and have adventures. Now, wolf Children, which is about a woman who falls in love with a man only to find out that he is part wolf and it's about them and their babies and their life. Last but not least of the physical books and manga that I hauled is Rainbow and Black, which is about a girl who's tired of living in black and white, and this little rainbow creature comes along and teaches her how to be happy and see in color. My husband also hauled a crap ton of manga and refuses to be in my video, so I do not want to haul all that because I have no idea what the ones he hauled were about, but we got a lot of manga, so maybe if you're interested, comment below and I will attempt to get him on my channel or I will make a separate video hauling what he got. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my haul. Don't forget to comment below, like if you want to, and subscribe if you want to, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.